Hello beautiful people, hello beautiful world, welcome back to my channel. I am Ashley Renice and welcome to the Better Me Assignment mid-month check-in. So, how has your month been going? If you are new and you're watching and you're like, um, what are you talking about? <laughs> so at the beginning of this month, I decided to start a challenge of some sort here on my channel and it's called the better me assignment and basically what it entails is every month we will have three things um that we are doing to better ourselves and these will all be focusing on one particular word and our word for the month of march was growth and with that we had three assignments let's review shall we so assignment number one was to complete a book any book it doesn't matter if you've started it and you just want to get to the end that was assignment number one and we are now in the middle of the month which means you should be halfway to completing it. <laughs> and even if you don't feel like you're gonna get to complete it, don't give up. Just keep going. I want to show you just how far you can go when you have your mind set on growing. Right, remember, it's all about growth. So all about progress, not perfection for this month. That is what we're focusing on. So let me know in the comments down below how far are you along with your book reading assignment and how has it been going for you? Well, let's review assignment number two and that was in the area of practicing. And we decided that we we're gonna be practicing gratitude by writing down 10 things that we are grateful for every day for this month. Now, I have to be honest, I have not done it every single day but I have done it more than I haven't done it. <laughs> so there have been more days where I have written down 10 things that I'm grateful for than, I'll say I missed it about like two, three times. Mm -mm. Don't come for me. But still, I have definitely seen like a change in terms of my outlook and it's kind of brought me back. Like this is, the outlook that I used to have where I constantly looked for the good in everything and this sort of just reminded me um, to be honest this month oh this month has been very different there's been a lot of changes this month for me and it has really done me so much good by focusing on the good, like focusing on the things that I'm grateful for, looking for things to be grateful for, even throughout the change, even in the midst of um, uncertainty and in the midst of, oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm doing or I don't know what's happening. Just that period where I have to take and write 10 things that I'm grateful for, I am saying grateful. I am <laughs> I'm saying grateful. I'm saying thank you for the things that um, are challenging me. And instead of looking at them as purely as a challenge, I'm now looking at them as, you know, this is an opportunity to grow. So it has really been helpful for me. I think the second assignment has been the most fruitful for me personally. But I'd love to know in the comments, how has your growth journey in gratitude been while practicing it this month, while writing the, those 10 things down? How has it been for you? Let me know. And then the last assignment was to experiment with your kidney bean and see how well it grows. Now, tell me why I forgot that I live in Canada and it's winter time which equals almost no sun. So that experiment, after like, <laughs> after sort of like looking and reading, cause you know, I'm like, okay, yeah, let me set this up. Then it's like, oh, place at a window with sunlight. And I'm like, I ain't got no sunlight. Okay, I, I don't have any, you know? But I do remember the experiment and there's just something that I wanted to share in this mid-month check-in with you where that experiment is concerned. I remember the first time I did that, I was in the third grade or grade three, whichever you want to call it. And 
I remember I used to be so excited every day because we would we did the experiment we left it at school on the windows so it was like on the windowsill and I remember every day I would be excited to come to see what happened to the bean like has anything started growing you know what's going on with it right but I never rushed it like I wanted to know so I was very curious. I wanted to just watch it grow, but I never said, hey, hurry up, Bean. You're taking a little bit too long, right? And I want us to think of ourselves as that Bean that I was looking at <laughs> in third grade. I want us to be curious and excited for our growth, but understand that it takes time. Understand that you're gonna be excited for it, but you're still gonna have to wait. Like your excitement does not negate the fact that you'll have to wait. And sometimes it's gonna happen in the blink of an eye, like it's gonna happen faster than you expected. And sometimes it's gonna take longer, but the end result will still be the same. There will be growth. And I also want us to remember that within even just that experiment, you see that paper towel, the jar that you put it in, the fact that it had to be on the windowsill so it could get some sunlight. All of that is important because environment is important. If we had left that bean out just on our countertops, like just doing nothing, it wouldn't have grown. There would be no change. Right? So I want us to take this time, this moment, and examine. Examine your environment. Examine what is going on around me. Is it conducive to my growth? Or is it just gonna keep me stagnant? Right? Or worse, is it gonna make me regress? So check the environment and let us examine and see, is this environment conducive for growth? And if it ain't, you know what I'm gonna say, change it. Because you do have the power to change your environment. All right, so that was the whole purpose of um, the bean growing experiment because i wanted us to get back to our childlike selves where we just know okay it takes time and i want us to really think of ourselves as that being that my growth will happen it will take time but it will happen all right so we're in the middle of the month march is not done yet i'm not gonna lie march feels kind of long <laughs> i don't know if it's just me but march is and it's a good feels kind of long because it feels very intentional and I really like that. I really like that. I hope that's the same for you too. All right. But we're in the middle of the month. The month isn't done yet. We still have at least two more weeks to go. And if you didn't accept the assignment at the beginning of the month, you can definitely hop on now because this will still be applicable regardless okay so i hope that you have been enjoying it i hope that you have been you know just keeping your commitment to yourself your commitment to growth i hope you've been keeping that dear and close to your heart all right i thank you guys so so much for joining me stay tuned to see what our april assignment will be and until then i will see you next time oh not yet don't forget, like the video, comment down below, all right, what your experience has been so far, and please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Oh, and share, of course. <laughs> all right, guys, thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.